All right, so today we're going over the biggest mistakes people make when it comes to quad training. Now, there could be a plethora of potential reasons why those things aren't growing. You could be moving the weight, not flexing through contraction. Maybe you're taking a mini vacation at the top of each rep, not getting enough time under tension, not tearing down the muscle enough, among other things. In all reality, all those things can be minimized, if not negated completely, by doing one simple thing, and that's stop half ass and leg day. I feel like a mom getting ready to have the it's time to man up speech with her son. All right, Timmy, so your dad ran away with a stripper named Cinnamon, so that makes you the man of the house now. Now, I know the world's on fire and unemployment's to the roof, but I'm gonna need your heart close to the shit out of those people that lemonade stand because we got bills to pay. But it really is a great equalizer because I've seen people with horrible ankle inflexibility, awful form, subpar genetics, and phenomenal legs. A good question to ask yourself to see if your intensity is on point is, did my body physically fail me? Did you push those legs to the limit, induce so much trauma on them that you went down for another rep and your body just went, nope, and you either got stuck or you had to perform that rep in such awful form just to get it to the top, or did you mentally quit? And that one, we know what that looks like. Hack squat is, is a good example for this. See a lot of people go down, come back up, tough rep, they get ready for another rep, breathe twice, and then lock it in because they know it's gonna be an awful rep or they're just gonna fail and they're not willing to go that far. I used to train this guy who personified insane training intensity. I mean, he was by far the craziest person I've ever trained, which is saying a lot because over the years I've had some crazy people. One time I had this girl, first time we trained triceps, had an orgasm in the gym. No fucking joke. I definitely pride myself with how hard I can push in the gym, but the other Ryan I'm talking about was just a different level of off. I mean, as the set got progressively harder, he'd start to laugh. And not just like a, ha uh, more like an evil cackle. So I don't expect you to get to that level of training intensity where you lose all empathy because I think psychopaths are born, not made. But you do have to let go of any fear you have, whether it's a fear of getting hurt or even getting stuck in a leg press. You have to get out, rack all the weights and look like an idiot. It's worth it. Or more than likely, you just never push yourself beyond what you thought was possible because that's the way I figured it out. One time I was younger, having a bad day, thinking, okay, I'm gonna do some iron therapy here. Went in there and just destroyed myself. One particular set, just pushed past the point of that internal voice telling you, stop, this is not safe, this isn't good, you're not gonna feel great after this. And then once I got past that point, I realized, man, your brain is one self-sabotaging son of a bitch. Now, before we go into what I would do if engaging those quads are an issue, let me take a second to thank Roman for sponsoring this video because I don't know about you, sometimes I wake up, look in the mirror and go, what the f I go in the other room, look at my girlfriend, try to figure out why she stays when I look like this in the morning, either she's just a heavy drinker and I don't know about it yet, or she's got horrible decision-making skills. Whether you got acne, redness, dark spots, wrinkles, or maybe you're just like me and you smash your face in your CPAP machine every night, and if you don't have good skincare, you walk around looking like Rudolph the rest of the day, good news is you're in luck. They got skincare that actually performs. And Roman makes it convenient to get your customized prescription skincare. Just grab your phone, your computer, complete a free online consultation, and you hear back from a US licensed physician 24 hours. So you might be thinking, why not just go to the store? Two problems. One, it's not prescription grade, and two, you're walking into a section that you know nothing about. So you're gonna be looking over shoulders and trying to cheat off their purchases. Inevitably, you're gonna have to have that conversation. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not creeping on you. I have something, my face. There's something wrong with my face. Why not just avoid that potential scenario completely and get a consultation with the actual doctor? If appropriate, they'll prescribe you a custom blended treatment based upon your skin type and your priorities. You'll receive your skincare treatment with free two-day shipping and there's unlimited follow-ups with your doctor. So if you need to change anything or have any questions, it's that easy. And then again with Roman, there's no commitment. You can cancel anytime. Go to GetRoman.com slash Ryan and try a three-month supply of Nightly Defense for just five bucks. Free to chat with a doctor and your first order is five freaking dollars. That's GetRoman.com slash Ryan. I'm gonna leave you the variation you can do on a couple different exercises. You can do leg press, hack squat. I'm gonna do it on Smith, but really what it does is connect you with those quads and retrain you how to drive through your heels during the concentric part of the movement. It's a simple concept, but it's highly effective. And all you're gonna do is as you drive that weight up, you're gonna lean back in your heels, lift those toes off the floor, three quarters of the way up, and then back down. Now, as you're going back down, you're gonna fight the urge to put that foot flat on the floor. You still want those toes off the ground, just a hair, so you're just shifting that weight back forward and then keeping that tension on those quads. But as you drive back up, then you're really just leaning back, kicking those toes up even higher, flexing those quads even more. You'll notice even if you only do a couple sets of these, every exercise you do after this, you're gonna be more aware, driving through that heel and get more engagement out of that quad. So as always, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Leave a comment for the video you want next, and get after, get growing. Talk to you soon.